Katana Chance ready for action. And her opponent nails her from behind. It's no soul siphon, but an old-fashioned beatdown will do the trick, too. Katana needs a beacon of hope right now. You can feel a chill fall over the arena whenever Cap appears now. We're damned, Michael. All of us damned. Get a hold of yourself, Saxton. Maybe, just maybe. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Trouble. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner. Kane used to have a place. Why? I've always had an affair. And what do you see? I see a woman with just, just don't lose sight of me. Listen, I get it. The mesmerizing and terrifying captain. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Italy. Uh I'm a believer that you do whatever it takes to win in WWE, but I don't know if it's worth your immortal soul. And that's what Cap has traded away for this infernal power she now possesses. The otherworldly presence of Cap has chilled the WWE Universe to the bone. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over.
Cap's made quite the supernatural transformation of late, but is she just dabbling or dangerous? Either way, she's divisive. She's facing two competitors who have definitely made their mind up. And from what I've heard backstage, there are a lot of other superstars excited that some... Oh, boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Oh, look at the camel clutch. Incredible. This handicap matchup's in the books. Here is your winner. The beacon does not seem okay. The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Making your way to the ring, the team of Natalya, Nikita Lyons, and Katana Chance, the beacon. Dressed the same, expressions the same. It's like Cap scooped out whatever made the beacon individuals and left them empty shells. Not empty. Cap filled them up with her own spirit, and now the beacon belonged to her. Cap has sent her minions after Lita, and I don't know if the legend can survive. The high flying Hall of Famer. her partner from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. Hey, took part in the first ever Raw Women's Main Event match against Trish Stratus. It was that very same night, Cole, that Lita captured the Women's Championship. Yeah, indeed, it was one of the greatest matches in the history of the Women's Division. And, well, Lita may be on the verge of delivering another classic here tonight. Lita taking on the beacon as apparently somehow Cap's got her former adversaries doing her bidding. You gotta wonder how Cap has changed their minds so fast. I'm hoping this wasn't anything sinister, and Cap is just that persuasive. No one's that convincing, Saxon. There is some dark magic at work here. We'll see if Lita's strong enough to withstand a power slam. She gets the shoulders up. Early pinfall attempt denied at one. A lot of time left to go. Unbelievable athleticism. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Inverted DDT. Quick sidestep by Natalia. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. Oh, there it is, the abdominal stretch. Grabbing the... Here's your handicap match winner. Here are your winners. The team of Natalia, Nikita Lyons, and Katana Chance. The
After Cap sent the beacon after Lita, the Hall of Famer is ready to respond. Lita has every right to be mad, but I don't know if I'd be calling this woman out. She's creepy. She's not creepy, Saxton. She's freaking terrifying. When the beacon declared that they were gonna go after someone just because she was so different and strange and scary, my eyes practically rolled in the back of my skull. I've seen witch hunts before. In fact, I've been the one that the zealots hunted. And if you only heard everything they said about me back when I was rated R, learning who I was and still finding my way. So let the cap be, I said. Let her make her own decisions. Let her make her own mistakes. But what she's done to the beacon, turning them into her personal minions? This is no well-meaning woman simply trying to find her place. So Cap, if you're down there in your lair and you can hear the sound of my voice, know this, I've looked into the face of evil before, so I am not scared to speak plainly about my intention in calling you out. My God! Let the beacon go, or I will set them free myself. Lita has no idea. I don't believe my eyes. Is this really happening? We need some help out here. Help? What in the hell can help with something like this? What? Did we just witness the impossible? What in the world is this? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Italy. Natalia, Katana, and Nikita call themselves a beacon of light to stop the spread of Cap's darkness. Now, they are her puppets. It's like there's nothing behind their eyes anymore. Like their souls have been replaced by Cap's will. Cap's minions have won goal tonight, turning Lita into one of them. A legendary Lita 
returns to action. And from Semford, North Carolina, Lita! You have to respect Lita's bravery stepping into the ring to face these odds. Is it bravery or stupidity, Cole? You've seen what Cap's capable of. You've seen what she's done. I don't think I'm alone in saying this match feels like it's about a lot more than what's happening in the ring. It feels like the entire soul of the WWE could be at stake. Or at the very least, the souls of the Beacon. They haven't been the same since aligning with Cap. With all Lita's been through, she might just be the perfect adversary to stand up and take Cap out once and for all. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. Hands locked under the chin, and this camel... It's over, all in a nice work. Here is your winner. Oh! The locker room is talking. They're impressed, and they're scared. As they should be. I've lived in them. All night. Then what's happening with your- Wait. Home? She's entered the Queen's crown. I have nothing to do. Everybody sees what you've become. If, if their intention, intention is to hurt me through Sally. Huh. Perhaps the amulet. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following is a Queen's Crown Tournament Quarter Finals match. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Psycho Sally is really capturing the imagination of the WWE Universe, Corey. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. She is the heavy hitter of the women's division. And she's definitely not here to make friends. She is here to make wins. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! You know, Zoe Stark just oozes with confidence. She knows exactly how good she is. And that's because Zoe refuses to conform to anybody else's ideas of what she is supposed to be. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. 
The Queen's Crown Tournament always promises a grand showcase for the skill, athleticism, and perseverance of these superstar entries. Absolutely, Michael. The intensity is palpable. And it's not just standard tournament pressure. There's something mysterious. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Uh oh the And this one is over. Here is your winner. Did you see that, Justine? Yes, I did. Did I? Yeah. Oh? Sally, I don't... Uh, that's all super witty. I don't know if you noticed when Cap's... Be that as it may, perception... I'm the psycho here, but that sounds... Whatever. Byron Justine! Sa Just do it, Sally! Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contest is a Queen's Crown Tournament semi-final match. Making our way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. Here comes a bad mood and attitude. Now here comes a true fighter with true self-worth. And from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, nah, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. The Queen's Crown Tournament continues, but with a dark cloud hanging over the whole thing. That's right, Michael. With everything going on these days, it feels like we're holding this tournament inside a haunted house. These two superstars need to put that out of their minds. They've got a job to do, as do you, Saxton. I can't help it, Corey. I'm spooked. Oh, Across man. the top rope. She's not in a good spot. That breaker. Placed in the corner. Oh, target a quad. Oh, no. What's this? It's Cap, apparently here to help out her old friend, Psycho Sally. Run, Sonya! Where'd she go? Oh! Cover here. And she gets a quick kick out. Looking for a speedy pinfall there. What a response from Sally. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Oh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. Oh, man. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner.
I don't recall things. Sally. Which I never asked for. After Captain. what I did? After you tried to break my spine. I got you into, you into the fire. I wanted to win this the right way. Help yourself. Until then. That proved it! That proved Cap has been helping you from afar! You're right, Justine. The whole WWE universe just saw her! I Wait, what? You're right. She's been helping I didn't me. expect you to just say it. Surprise! That's why I want you to set another match. Damn! I'm impressed. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contest is a Queen's Crown Tournament semi-final match. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. It's time to get Psycho, Corey. I wish. For a person who calls herself Psycho, Sally had better find that edge or her opponent tonight is going to send her right back to the asylum. Square up. And her opponents, first from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonia Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonia Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonia is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore. The pit bull has been released. And representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. Ivy Nile definitely has that dog in her. Almost unmatched tenacity and a deep desire to win. I cannot wait to see Ivy Nile compete. Indie wrestling is here. Quite the impressive young talent. Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage 
inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Fallon Henley is ready to speak her mind and start some fights. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. Fallon's been a huge disruptor in the women's division for the simple fact that she won't be intimidated. There's nothing mysterious about Fallon Henley. Tons of attitude, and she comes at you full force. One of Fallon's favorite hobbies is to call people out. It's going to get rough around here. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She's certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. This is really shaping up to be a tournament like no other with the semifinal match being decided by a battle royal. If you're going to a place of world, any tournament with a battle royal, it makes sense that it's... Now the cravat since then. Is it time to fade? This won't win her the Royal Rumble match. A couple of right hands and that creates space and separation. Stopping at the leg. Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. You don't see this often. And the agony has no reason to end as we see her tapping out in pain. Look, the most intelligent competitor in the battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the Lions. feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Agility like that? Easier said than done, gentlemen. Fisherman suplex. She got launched. Fallon Henley has been eliminated. Monster set up in the corner. Oh. And she saw that coming from Zoe. Boom, right in the chest. Then Indy Hartwell. Oh, quite an effective counter. Andy Hartwell has been eliminated. Reversal! What a counter! As the leg trapped, Fisherman suplex. Oh, what a kick! That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Get back here. Leg Larian. Then back to Nile. What a response from Sally. Oh, drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. She saw it coming. Finds a counter from Stark. <laughs> Sally is out of the way. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Ooh, she 
responds with a counter. Oh, costly error there. Oof. Oh. Turned that one around. She's in the ring now. A strong takedown there. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Spine buster. She's starting to drag a little bit. Well, stamina is the name of the game in a battle royal. You gotta be able to endure. What a response from Sally. She's trying one more time. Standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Finds a counter from Stark. gets the win. Here is your winner. You did it. Even without your magic. <laughs> Tell me that after you. Good. You know she what, kid? Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following will determine the Queen's Crown Tournament winner, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Psycho Sally is really capturing the imagination of the WWE Universe, Corey. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, I just checked the weather here and the forecast calls for greatness. Charlotte Flair is one of the greatest female superstars of all time in serious conversation to be the GOAT. Yeah, look at all the record title reigns. Look at all the main events. Look at all the firsts. The history books were made for someone of Charlotte Flair's caliber. Hey, you can't deny the greatness of Charlotte Flair. We are down to one final match to crown a true wrestling monarch, with everybody wondering just who will be crowned Queen. Uh-oh, she could be setting up for a submission here. Oh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. 
She's done it in a career-defining victory. Psycho Sally has defeated the queen herself, Charlotte Flair, to win the Queen's Crown Tournament. Sally overcame so many obstacles to get to this point. From Indy Darling to WWE Queen, Psycho Sally has made her mark. Charlotte will be back here, that's for sure. But tonight, she has to hand it to Psycho Sally for this gutsy performance. God save the Psycho Queen. The beacon does not seem okay. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Nikita Lyons and Katana Chance. The Beacon. Dress the same, expressions the same. It's like Cap scooped out whatever made the Beacon individuals and left them empty shells. Not empty. Cap filled them up with her own spirit, and now the beacon belonged to her. Here comes Sonya Deville. And their opponents. It's First, all about Shaman, the power. And Sonya knows how to Sonya get it. Deville. From the MMA world to Tough Enough to NXT to upper management, you can never count Sonya out. Well, that MMA background you mentioned is what makes Sonya so dangerous, along with her unparalleled vindictive streak. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore. Chelsea Green is here. And uh, I think she wants to speak to the manager. And from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! You know, I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager, but I have to admit, it has worked well for Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Let's see if Chelsea gets her way tonight. 
She always does. Apparently, Cap has struck a deal with Ava Moreno to send a message to Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. And Cap's using her beacon minions to deliver that message. It still freaks me out how they're seemingly under Cap's control. I need some minions to do my bidding. Saxton, you want in? Uh, no thanks, Corey. DDT! Incredible! Right to the spine. Stinging kick. Boom. Down low with the drop kick. Drop kick right on point. The fatigue is setting in for her. Katana stepping up to a challenge. Driven down face first. Sonya's lost any momentum here. Yeah, Katana is really grinding the opposition down. Working to neutralize that arm. Got their opponent set up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Boom, face first. And a beautiful swan time. And chance now, Chaney. Offense together. Sonya keeps getting cut down. Return fire from DeVille. And Sonya is finally able to mount some resistance with that. That could be the spark Sonya was looking for. Fans off the attack with an elbow. She scores big with the counter. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Jump a clothesline in the corner. Finds its target. Boom! A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. With a weakening arm breaker. 360 double knee face breaker. Katana may have put the exclamation on this one. Oh, I'm loving filming your matches these days. The levitating, soul siphoning stuff, it's amazing. I don't see how you're doing the CG.
Get ready to be spellbound by Cap. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Italy. Uh, superstar! I'm a believer that you do whatever it takes to win in WWE. But I don't know if it's worth your immortal soul. And that's what Cap has traded away for this infernal power she now possesses. The otherworldly presence of Cap has chilled the WWE Universe to the bone. Blair Davenport, a young woman who won't let any competitor get in her way. And she does whatever she wants to do. A world travel competitor looking to make her mark in WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. Sinister mind and amazing in-ring skills. Now, yeah, Michael, a truly merciless competitor who is out to hurt anyone who stands across from her. Well, if that's what it takes, then so be it. Cat looks to be laboring a bit already. I wonder if she suffered a training injury trying to wrestle the dark forces taking over her soul. It's no laughing matter, Corey. And if Cap's struggling, it's possible that her opponent is using dark forces of her own. You think the rumored voodoo doll is real? I think. We're seeing Cap look weaker than she has in a long time. Why? Measured up. Drop kick to the back. There's a wheelbarrow. Boom, DDT. Cunning Swanton. Awesome. Davenport's plans for division domination clearly being challenged with that. And Davenport is continuously on the defensive. Blair has to find an opening and respond. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. From the heavens, big body splash from the top. Face first with a reverse STO. Set up for the rush oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Her shoulders are down. And they kick out at two. 
If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Ah, uh, head scissors. Round and round we go. Head scissor. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Oh, shot to the jaw. The lights are dimming for Davenport. Cover! And a victory here tonight! Here is your winner. Blair Davenport couldn't come out on top tonight. This is only going to make Blair Davenport even more dangerous. It's one thing when she gets her way, it's another thing altogether when she doesn't. She has a temper, that's for sure.